James Kaufman, World News Report today. June 2nd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. I know most of you recall the three X flares we had in a 24-hour period yesterday. The X1.1, the X1.4, and the X1.0, followed by another bump that was an M7.5. A very long-term event here. Now, According to NOAA and NASA, the first two X flares did not generate a coronal mass ejection. Although we all thought we saw one right after 1800 UTC time on Lasco C3. The timing was perfect. And NASA and NOAA both thought the coronal mass ejection was headed towards Earth. Well, they have changed their minds. They have decided that it was a backside eruption, a sympathetic eruption that occurred at the exact same time as the X and M combo flare. Farside CME will not hit Earth. Noah, our first reaction was incorrect. A halo coronal mass ejection that left the sun during this weekend's parade of X flares was not an Earthside event after all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you all everything that they put out this morning, and I have lots of questions. Instead, the coronal mass ejection was launched by a far side active region currently visible in helioseismic maps. According to a NASA model, which we will look at, the coronal mass ejection will hit Venus, not Earth. So, ladies and gentlemen, they're telling us that this large event, although we saw a coronal mass ejection pop off at exactly that time and last a very long period of time, was from a far side event that happened to sympathetically erupt at the exact same time. We have never had one of these X flares produce a coronal mass ejection while being Earth facing, according to NASA or NOAA, thus far. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our eruption happened about 1830, and the timing on this halo eruption, and also the fact that there was a secondary eruption with it, obviously hitting our cameras here. We also saw the X-rays hit our GOES X-ray satellite and our D-region absorption prediction, but they're saying that this halo eruption here that happened at the exact moment that we had the X flare followed by the long term M flare was from a far side event, and I will show you what they're saying. Headed over to NASA's Goodard Spiral, is what right here we see the backside event they're claiming was the halo eruption that occurred exactly when our X and long term M flare occurred, and they have it going well the opposite way hitting Venus, not Earth. They refer to solar flares that happen instantaneously together as sympathetic solar flares. The problem is, is where's the coronal mass ejection that's headed this way? It doesn't exist, according to NASA. It was only a backside event, and I will show you the enormous sunspot group that they say created this event. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 023 right here is what NASA is saying created this halo eruption at the exact moment that we had our X flare followed by the large M flare that was long term. And again, a backside event, none of the X flares. Again, on this trip around the Earth facing side of our solar disk has created a coronal mass ejection. Very hard to believe. Let me know if you guys believe what NASA is selling. They're selling something that's hard to stomach and you must wonder where are all the coronal mass ejections from these X flares that are facing Earth actually go. There hasn't been one, period. God bless you and yours. Please share. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't and always remember that Anything's possible. Bizarro world.